All right, more money on the way to the first coast to get more people working in an infrastructure program. Today, Governor Ron DeSantis was in Yule to present a check for more than $3 million to Florida State College in Nassau County. Overall, the governor says he is dedicating $100 million in the next budget to things like vocational training. But I can tell you, if you go through a program like this, the chance of you having gainful employment is incredibly, incredibly high. You go to a university, you can potentially do very well, but you know, you also have kids you know, that, will, that will major in like zombie studies or these things that aren't really something that is getting a lot of interest. And you know what? Sometimes this, the C's don't part for that. So uh, we think that we're providing more opportunity across the board. There's a variety of ways to get skills that, uh, that will help you succeed in life. DeSantis says that his budget for the next year also includes no tuition increases for colleges or universities in the state of Florida. So the governor's plan uh, to fight what he calls social indoctrination in schools and on the job is seeing both criticism and a groundswell of support right now. The proposal he rolled out yesterday would let parents, students and employees file lawsuits if school curriculum or corporate training include what's called critical race theory studies the systemic impacts of racism in America, but the governor says it's a way to legalize harassment. It will put into statute uh, the Department of Education's prohibition on CRT in K through 12 schools. No taxpayer dollars should be used to teach our kids to hate our country or to hate each other. Educators and employment lawyers say they have serious concerns. We are trying to label lessons about racism in the United States, which is a documented historical truth, as critical race theory. And because most people don't know what critical race theory is, then any uncomfortable lesson about racism in American history is banned. And if critical race theory means acknowledging that there's racism in America, does that mean that every employer's anti-discrimination policy is now illegal? We have not yet seen any proposed text for legislation. It's just a verbal proposal, it seems right now. The governor's office says that a bill will be introduced in Tallahassee next month.